I am going to show you how to connect an RJ45 connector to a CAT5E cable. In order to do this, you will definitely need a crimp cut strip tool. This is a network tool that will do the whole job. The first thing that we're going to need to do is strip off about an inch and a half of this outside blue jacket. By inserting the cable into this spot right here, I can ring all the way around the cable by twisting it and then I can pull the jacket right off. There are four pairs of wires here. You will need to separate each individual wire. Once these wires have been unraveled, take a screwdriver and run them between your thumb and the screwdriver. This helps straighten the wires. From left to right, organize the wires in the following color code. Orange and white striped, orange, green and white striped, blue, blue and white striped, green, brown and white striped, brown. This is a common color code Really, a network just reads copper. As long as the other end of the wire matches this end, you're okay. Just a quick note about the color code. There's an A and a B, and I've just set this up for the B. Now, when you make a wall jack, you will know the back side has A and B color code combination. This is set up for a B. Now I have straightened the wires and brought them together. I'm now going to use my network tool and I'm going to cut leaving about a half inch on the cable, keeping these in line. The tool has a designated spot to make this cut. Before you insert this into the RJ45 connector, double check to make sure that these wires are in the proper order of color. Take the RJ45 connector, tab down, and insert the cable. Each individual wire will go in its individual spot. Make sure it is all the way to the very end.
I will now take this and I will put it into the designated spot on the crimping tool. I will simply squeeze the handles together and it will crimp all the wires into place.